Yo, what's going on everybody? So it's been a very, very long time since I've played Mortar on my channel. So I decided to go ahead and give this deck a try. Shout out to Star for giving me this deck. Um, they commented this i think 100 days straight so i was like you know what i'm gonna actually try it out and it looks like a pretty solid deck overall so we're gonna give it a test today this guy's got elixir collector so i'm just gonna fireball that right off the bat you've got basically all the basics for a good deck that you need you've got the double spell you've got the um like plenty of bait aspect to the deck it's got, it's a mortar bait type deck so you don't really need necessarily one big tank i guess you could count maybe cannon cart or minor as your tank um but with all the spam troops it's kind of like the markarius deck where he just kind of overwhelms um but instead of having the hog rider he obviously like or obviously he has the hog rider this deck has the um miner instead with the minion horde which i think is a great combination usually a lot of people get caught off guard by the minion horde i'm telling you it is a sleeper card for sure um i'm just gonna let that ghost go on that right side and then i think i'm just gonna go spears up high to counter this monk he's obviously probably gonna pop the ability um but that's completely fine i have the goblin gang if i need it, it looks like he's not even gonna do it if he pops the ability i can activate king tower with the log but we'll see if he ends up doing that. I think he's just going to let it go. Pretty smart play on his end to not get the King Tower activated. I'm just going to cycle with Goblin Gang, Goblin Gang at the bridge. Um, okay, E-Barbs, very interesting. So it looks like he's probably playing three Musketeers, if I had to guess here. Um, Cannon Cart should stay alive. He doesn't have Monk in cycle, right? He just I just killed it on this other side. So I'm going to go in with the Mortar on offense and see what he does. He's got the Evo Archers, unfortunately. That is definitely not what I want to see at the moment. But, you know, at least they're out of rotation now for the next cycle i'm gonna log this archer on the left just because just because i don't want to take the 500 damage you guys watched my video yesterday that archer literally took the entire tower by itself i'm not trying to have a repeat of that um i guess i'll just go spears the bridge the thing i like about this deck and is very very like i, I enjoy this play style in general is that you can always play something like there's pretty much no awkward cycles because you can always be pressuring the bridge or wherever you want to pressure he's going to pop the ability very early right there i'm going to set up a, a um, evolution mortar here to just defend at this push these minions are putting in a ton of work he needs to rage that i don't know what he's doing because now that's just going to take out all the e-barbs and give me a like massive elixir trade right there i'm going to go for the spears at the bridge just to keep the pressure on this guy and then that mortar is actually probably going to defend that ghost by itself i think maybe not nah, i think it's going go invisible after that one he goes for the 3m in the back okay this is kind of an awkward rotation i have now um i'll just go for the cannon cart in the back left here see what he wants to do he's gonna monk on the right side so evil mortar should take care of these muskies on the left and then i can just get the spear goblins down if he goes for the e-barbs i'm just gonna go prediction nice we do predict it i'm gonna pull back the e-barbs and then fireball that should take out the musketeer what a play right there guys um i can go for the cannon cart i probably should have minion hoarded that now thinking about it but it's gonna take it out either way um wow that was a clutch very very clutch play if i didn't make that he would have had a very easy time breaking through right there so i'm gonna go mortar at the bridge since he goes for the pump i don't have fireball in rotation obviously just gonna spears and log and then miner the back to keep the constant pressure on this guy that should pull back the monk enough to where the mortar is going to connect on tower that's massive for me he could reflect it with the monk ability um if he's smart he's not i'm not saying he's not smart that's pretty rude um but he did not reflect the ability <laughs> um so cannon card's gonna die to his monk most likely here that's fine i can just go ahead and go for the gang up high i just need to stall enough time to where i can defend now that he used this rage i can go minion horde and this should be ggs there's really nothing he can do i'm gonna go for the mortar even with this pump advantage it's not gonna save him because i can just go for the miner in the back go ahead and cycle my log as well it's gonna get a plenty of chip damage and get his tower down into fireball range and that's gonna be ggs what a start to the video that prediction on the uh, e-barbs was pretty much what won me that entire match but yeah very very solid first game there i really enjoy playing decks like mortar specifically because um number one it is a pretty I would say it's a higher skill deck because you kind of have to um there's a lot of matchups where you just kind of have to make specific plays to win games it's not just like a carbon it's not just like a script with some decks you definitely can make the same play every single time and it just kind of works um, like you have one set play mortars you have a lot of variety to kind of change up what you're doing that might activate king if i'm lucky no okay um unfortunate there but i wasn't going for that king tower activation anyway we're gonna face some royal recruits so i definitely want to beat this guy maybe throw a little bit of bm i'm not too sure yet but i'm gonna go for the mortar on defense my cycle is a little bit awkward unfortunately here um maybe i should have just minion hoarded but i was kind of worried about him having arrows or something um to take that out so i'm just gonna go defensive mortar and minor kind of an overcommit on defense maybe but it is seven elixir for seven elixir he's got the bowler and the recruits so this is going to be a very fun match um okay like uh i think i'm minion horde this because i haven't played it yet and he's not going to be expecting it okay i'm gonna log first here and then 
I'll go, I'll go minion horde. Why not? Um, oh my goodness. He has arrows. I knew it. I knew he had arrows. Okay, I can't react in time with the spear goblins or the gang because I think one wallbreaker would still connect. But I am going to pressure because I think he's decently low on elixir after that aggressive play. Um, so I am going to go for... Okay, he's got the bowler back in rotation already, unfortunately for me. This is going to be a tough one to win for sure with the arrows, um, but maybe we can try and get value out of our other bait cards and bait out some arrows before we use our minion horde. That's going to be probably the way I win this match, if I do win it. Um, so gang to surround, obviously, he's going to need to respond to those three spears, um, and I guess that's fine. I can probably just cycle my log over here on the left side and then i could go minor again depending on what he does this is going to be a pretty easy deck to defend in my opinion especially if i have like evil mortar on defense but to get damage might be a little different story here um so minor spears at the bridge he's going to go defensive wall breakers i'll just go ahead and set up this evil mortar early get the gang down to be annoying and he's going to go for the skelly barrel at the bridge interesting there um, i can just get a pretty good value log on all of that and then just go for the cannon card to take out these left side recruits um they should do a good job of that hopefully the cannon card survives but i'm not too sure it will uh, looks like it might actually which is very good i'm gonna go for the mortar again on offense here i put it one to one tile higher because i didn't want the cannon card to like shove it under or something i'll go for the miner in the back and then log look at this evil mortar getting so much value on defense for me um, a lot of people never play evil mortar on defense but i'm telling you sometimes it is definitely the right play because like look how much value that just got me it sat on the map for a minute straight and then just killed all his stuff that was coming at me um so i'm just gonna go spear or goblin gang um to counter his goblin gang and then he's gonna need to respond to that cannon card he's probably gonna uh, go for the recruits so i'm just gonna set up a mortar early here yeah he does go for the evil recruits i'm gonna minion horde early on the left side to just clean up all that he's obviously probably gonna arrows that's fine with me i can just go for the log once this pops and then minor on defense and we're gonna have to probably tank a wall breaker here okay this is kind of sketchy um he's getting a lot of damage on that left side somehow i don't even know what really happened right there i guess a wall breaker and like a recruit by itself did all that but he's probably gonna oh no he's not he's gonna go for that i can just go cannon card early to try and predict a bowler um he's not gonna play the bowler unfortunately but i can go minion horde over here on the right side he's not gonna have enough for arrows right away um and firecrackers are not gonna take out those minions completely i can log this hold up this evil mortar might connect on tower it does okay this is huge he's got to respond to that cannon card with the goblin gang and then i have my fireball ready he's got to respond to that miner and oh he's dead i think oh maybe not okay wait i'm just gonna keep the pressure on with the mortar at the bridge um i just need like one more good miner and then he just used his arrow so i can play my minion horde that was a smart firecracker by him but that those minions should still kill the mortar not the mortar the bowler um uh, minion he has to respond to that with goblins which is fine and i can just go goblin gang over here go for the miner and then just okay we gotta go for the fireball cycle i don't care what he does at this point i just need to cycle as quickly as possible and this is gonna be ggs we just need two more cards get the gang down and then i can cycle a defensive miner over here on the right to make sure these recruits don't dash into my tower that skelly barrel is not gonna do nearly enough in time and that is gonna be a win against royal recruits arrows with minion horde man i don't know what happened right there but we just kind of outplayed him the entire match and won that so far, after a couple of games with this deck, I'm gonna have to give it like a solid 7, 8 out of 10. Um, the one problem, I guess not, not really a problem, but like the thing that is kind of a struggle with it is that you don't have that one big tank to take out cards like Mega Knight and stuff. Um, but there are ways to defend it. It just makes it a little bit harder when you don't have one specific card, um, especially without a Little Prince in a deck nowadays, and you don't have like the Little Prince Guardian ability to, to tank for stuff. It's a little bit difficult, um, but it doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna go Miner on the corner of the tower because obviously this guy is not running... Okay, he's probably running Pumpo, which is, I don't know, what kind of matchup is that? I think it's, I think it's okay, but he should probably outcycle me decently easily, which could end up being a problem, um, but let's just go ahead and hope it doesn't. So I'm just going to Spears the Bridge, keep the pressure on this guy. He's going to waste his archers on that, which is, you know, fine with me. I can just go ahead and split my gang in the back once again. Um, might have to do some dual lane pressure in this matchup. We'll see how this guy plays it, but I'm going to go for the mortar at the bridge here. He's going to have to respond to that, and Pumpo usually does not have a tank nowadays, which is weird to me. I'm like, why do you guys not play a tank? It doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm just going to fireball that pump right away. Like, I at least want to have an ice golem in my deck to just... I don't know. It makes me feel more comfortable, at least, on the very, very least there. He's not going to pop the ability um, because he wants to cycle back to another, another pump. <laughs> Which is fine with me. I could probably just go for Miner on this next pump. He does have the Evo Larrys, I think. I can just Cannon Cart right away. And then Miner... Yep, that was... So, no, he doesn't have Evo Larrys. He has Evo Archers, and I knew that. Um, that's why I went for the prediction right there. My brain just doesn't kind of keep up with my mouth very easily. Um, and I, I, I thought about it right as he put that expo down. I was like, oh, he's going to go Archers in the middle. But I'd already said that he has Evo Larrys. So, you know, don't roast me in the comments. My brain is, is focused on the game, but my voice cannot... 
I don't know, my head doesn't keep up with what my brain wants to say, um, if that makes sense. So he's going to go for the defensive bow, which is fine with me. I'm just going to kind of chill. I don't know why he would really do that. Um, I'm not going to fireball that. I'm not, not going to be dumb that uh, like that stupid to do that but i want to go for the fireball on his pump obviously we want to keep doing that if i go for minor he's going to protect it with the 74 cycle card so we don't really want to deal with that at the moment <laughs> i'm just going to go for the minor on top of his archer then go evil mortar at the bridge he is going to protect his archer of course he does and now i can just cannon card because he's going to go okay i thought he was going to little prince but i guess he's going to go defensive bow which is very interesting um, for this situation. I could fireball the archers, but like, nah, I definitely do not want to overcommit at the moment. Kind of playing good so far. I just need to kind of chill. Go for the miner in the back. He's going to go ahead and have to defend all this with like little to nothing. I can fireball that little prince right away. Please don't kill my minions. Okay, that's good. Wait, what is that expo? Hello? Hello? He just lost. <laughs> what is he doing? I think he thought that the minions were going to die to the Little Prince Fire Spirit, but I, like, fireballing that super quickly kind of caught him off guard, and that ended up winning us the game. That's crazy how one little play can get you, like, a 3,000 damage, when I really thought it was probably going to do, like, maybe 500 at most, but, you know, I'll take it. Okay, we all know what this guy plays. He plays, like, Pekka Balloon or something weird, so I'm just going to go Mortar first play here. Um, I probably should save my Mortar... Okay, we're going to Minion Horde right away on that Balloon. Going to get the Lock on Tower as well, so he's got Zap. Okay, he doesn't have arrows, I don't think, which is very good for me. I can just Miner right here, and that should be pretty annoying for him. He might have Tornado. Uh, yeah, he does. Okay, so I kind of remember what he's playing now. I'm just going to cycle Goblin Gang the bridge because he's very low on Elixir, and this should be... Yeah, he's got to go Phoenix, but we should get a little bit of damage. That's fine. I kind of wish I didn't let him get the King Tower activation, but I thought maybe he'd play... Um, I don't know. I don't even know. I thought he'd play something there um, on the... To, to kill the minions if I played the miners, so that's why I went for the miner in that tile. Um, but it ended up being a little bit of a mistake. We still get a decent start off to the game. I'm just going to cycle another set of spears. We're already back to them after a minute, which is pretty wild. I can just go for the log on top of these archers. And we're going to go ahead and kind of reset here. He might go P.E.K.K.A. the back. This guy is a very aggressive P.E.K.K.A. in the back type player. Um, I've played him plenty of times. I'm just going to go for the mortar at the bridge. Okay, he's got bowler as well, which is pretty interesting. I swear to you guys he has P.E.K.K.A. I'm not lying to you. There's no way he doesn't. I don't think I've played him a single time in my life where he wasn't running P.E.K.K.A. And I used to be on a team with him and he'd literally play P.E.K.K.A. with different versions in every... Yeah, like I said, um, in every single match. No matter what match it was, he would have a P.E.K.K.A. Um, so this should be decent here. I'm gonna just cycle my miner in the back to get to my spear goblins because my cycle is kind of awkward at the moment i'll just go spears to try and dps this pekka down and then see what he wants to do he's gonna zap which is completely fine because now we obviously have the goblin gang to clean this up and that should be good um so he doesn't have arrows which is good i can just go for the evil mortar at the bridge here in front of these goblins um do a little little pressure for him to deal with he's gonna go with the archers but i think that's actually a bad play because now they're gonna die never mind there's gonna be one alive and that's gonna ruin my day isn't it yeah okay that's fine we could kind of reset here i need that archer to die okay this could be bad um my cycle is very awkward i'm gonna go for the fireball i guess and then minions right away um, he prediction fireballs, but he kind of missed right there, which is fine with me. Those a little bit of a waste of a spear goblins, but I didn't want that balloon to get a hit. Um, and we're fine. That was kind of an awkward interaction, but I shouldn't get myself in awkward situations like that anymore. I'm just going to cycle my logs. It's pretty much meaningless in this game besides like hitting the archers, I guess. Go for the mortar in the middle this time. He's probably going to bowler this again. Um, there it is. That's fine. I'd rather get the bowler out of rotation early because I don't want to deal with it um, later on in this push. So I'm just going to go for the cannon or the minion horde at the bridge. And then I'll probably cannon cart here. Yeah. Um, to start DPSing down at this P.E.K.K.A. Go for the spears because he already used his zap. And then he does NATO as well. Um, so that's fine with me. He has triple spell, which is kind of annoying um, when you're playing mortar bait. But it doesn't really matter that much. I'm just going to go mortar and then minor. Oh my lord. I should have put that in the back. That would have been so good. Um, we're still going to get damage on tower with that mortar shot though. I can just cannon cart, I guess, is my play here. Um, this could get a little awkward depending on what he does. He's going to go Phoenix. I'm just going to fireball this right away because I don't want to deal with everything, to be honest. Um, if he goes Balloon, I should be okay. He is going to Loon. I'm just going to be patient here, go for the Log, and then Minion Horde as soon as I can. Kill all these Archers, kill the Balloon. There's nothing they can do on that one. You know, I'm even going to go for the Miner in the back, just to cause that um, much more of an annoyance for him, I guess. That um, was a good way to put it. So he does NATO to kill the Minions, obviously. Later on, he's going to definitely go for like a Zap NATO to try and kill my Minion Horde as quick as possible or Prediction Fireball, so I do need to be very careful um, as to what he's doing. I'm just going to Cannon Card the bridge. I thought he might Bowler. That would have been a nice snipe right there. I'm just going to Fireball that right away. You have to get those off the board. Like, it is very, very imperative you kill those immediately um, or you will lose the game. 
Um, okay, so he's gonna have the bowler down. I can go for the minion horde and then just minor. I don't know what he's gonna do here. He's gonna fireball, but the spears are still alive. Yeah, not the greatest push ever, but at least we got the fireball out of rotation, which is good. He's gonna pack at the bridge. Very aggressive play from him, especially because he doesn't have fireball in rotation or NATO now. I can just do a spear goblins behind as well. He wasted the zap. Yeah, this is not breaking through. Unfortunately, I feel like this is a very, very good matchup for me, even though he has three spells, which is kind of wild to say. Um, I'm just gonna minor the back to cycle to my cannon card again, and then that should take out everything. He's gonna go for the phoenix on defense. And okay, we're just gonna get a second set of spear goblins down. I can fireball all, all three things as well again here, and then I should should be completely fine he's gonna go balloon obviously but i just need to be patient make sure i don't get predicted or anything go for the minion horde and once again on top he's gonna zap this time but now i have goblin gang and it's just like constantly there's nothing we can do um that's not even gonna get to my tower even if i got one hit i think we're still fine but it doesn't matter because i'm just gonna go for the minor on tower and then at 12 seconds left i'll just cannon card down low he's probably gonna nato this actually now that, now that i think about it yeah but it shouldn't matter that's not nearly enough damage i'm just gonna fireball for a little bit extra damage and yeah three seconds left that's gonna be ggs and what a solid deck i think we performed very very well with this and i hope it made star happy shout out to star for commenting 100 days in a row on every single video that's actually wild but yeah thanks for watching guys and we'll see y'all in the next one peace